know it's been a tough couple days for you guys. I guess just the news of the draft pick rescinded and Becky being suspended for two games. What was your guys' kind of initial reactions? Um, it's unfortunate. It really is. But at the end of the day, we have to make sure that we are performing and doing what we need to do on the court. I think uh, my biggest thing is making sure that this does not become a distraction because at the end of the day, we're, we're going to be we're, – we're for Becky. We're for Amy. Like, that's for us. Well, we're going to play for her uh, no matter what. It's going to be tough to be without her, of course, those couple of games. But we still have to go out there and be us uh, through and through and continue to make sure that we put the correct product out there because that's what people want to see. Uh, and that's pretty much my take on it. The first two games of the season, like you said, you guys got to kind of just keep rolling without her. But what's the confidence level of this group like at, at the moment without her? Have you seen our locker room? <laughs> my confidence is at an all-time high uh, because my teammates are that. They're instilling that confidence in me, and I hope I can do the same for them. But I think we're heading into the uh, Seattle, going into their place, uh, pretty confident in who we are because not only are we talented, but our minds, the way that we approach the game, we approach it as professional athletes like we are. And we're going to go ahead and do that and take care of business the best, day, the best way that we can. Candice, uh, Adrian mentioned supporting Becky. I guess what can you guys do as players to do that, or what does that mean kind of to you? Well, I mean, I think it's, you know, anytime it, it doesn't matter, anytime your name's on the scroll or anytime you, you see your name, anything could pop up, you know, I think all of us have been there. I mean, it sucks. So I think it's just showing, showing support. And, you know, just I, I know a number of us players have reached out and just been like, you know, we love you, we care about you. Um, and, you know, we're going to represent you in the best way that we can. Becky like mentioned that none of you guys had uh, talked to any investigators as part of this whole thing. Is, is that correct? No, I, I mean, I just got here. I, I, didn't, I didn't speak to any investigators. Um, but in the first three weeks I've been here, I've not experienced anything but uh, love from Becky and support and, you know, support for me and my family. Adrian, you guys have talked about how tight knit just this team is in general. And obviously, when you go through something like that, just speaking, what does Becky mean to you? In general, just as a person, let alone as a coach. Yeah, I mean, Becky is the head honcho. She makes us go. She gives us the foundation, the blueprint that we need to be able to perform. She makes sure that we're in the best situation to make sure that we're great. But then she also allows us to live a little bit. She allows us to be us. Uh, she trusts us with a lot of things. And I'm pretty sure she kind of scratches her neck about. But uh, she trusts us with a lot of things. And I mean, we're going to continue to do that. It's going to obviously be tough to not have on the sidelines. But, you know, Tyler has been prepared for this moment uh, and he's ready to shine. And we trust him in that fact and we're going to go out there and be us. Speaking of, of Tyler, obviously he's going to take the first game. Natalie Nikasa gets the second game. Um, just what's it going to be like kind of playing for them at, in these new roles? I mean, I'm excited for him. Obviously, like, he's so overprepared, you know, and he – I don't think you guys get to see the work that he does with us on a daily basis, but um, he's definitely the man for the job. That's his scout, uh, so I know he's going to have us locked in. And Natalie, same thing. I mean, Natalie's overprepared for this, and, uh, you know, we've had – We've had practices where Becky was sick or something like that, and Nat stepped in and done a tremendous job. And we have a veteran group, and we're competitors. At the end of the day, like, we're going to go out there and we're going to play hard as hell. That's always kind of how we are, and uh, we'll be locked in. You guys know how passionate Becky is in general. How much do you think it's going to kind of kill her just to be a, not be able to be on the sidelines? <laughs> I don't think it's going to kill her. <laughs> I mean, I hope not. I hope it doesn't kill her. Uh, I'm sure she's going to be screaming at the TV, but hey, she'll be screaming on the sidelines. It doesn't matter, but I think she's going to be really good. She's getting a little extra rest. No biggie. <laughs> we got it. What's the mentality heading into Saturday for you guys? It's a new season. Like, last year, at the end of the day, nothing comes from that. You know, this is not like we don't get to carry anything, any wins, any anything. So we know that, and I feel like there's a lot of experience in this locker room, and we know that everyone's coming for our next. So, uh, if anything, it's just an opportunity to go out and hoop. Kelsey, I know you have a pretty high position with the WNBPA. They came mm -hmm. out with a statement saying they didn't feel like the punishment was enough. Yep. I guess where do you kind of fall on that, or did you have any discussions with them about that? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like my job is to represent, you know, the players, and that's the totality of everyone. And I will say, um, you know, it it is one of the things that um, it's amazing when verdicts come back and no one is happy. And I think that just shows a, a poor level of leadership and a poor process on the investigation. And so all you can do is, uh, again, um, control what you can control. And uh, that's what we've been doing in this locker room and for this organization. And, um, you know, a lot of that stuff is out of my hands. So, um, you know, I'm here, I'm present, and that's what matters. Ada, hey, Becky mentioned kind of talking to the group. I guess what was the general vibe of her message and what does she want you guys to, to focus on going these two games without her? 
Uh, what we've been doing, what we've been doing and talking about in practice and settling down and knowing our matchups and locking in, uh, because that's really what matters. Uh, we got to win these games, whether she's on the sideline or if she's not, it, we have to win these games. We have the bulls on our back just got a whole lot bigger and uh, we're just going to take it all with stride. We have enough in the locker room to take care. I'm betting on us every single time um, and we're going to continue to do that. So she was just making sure that mentally we're locked into what we need to do. Does this stuff kind of function as a distraction? I guess, I guess, how do you lock in like that when there's all this outside noise? Uh, I feel like we've been having outside noise since the Aces came to Las Vegas, so this is nothing new to us. Uh, but I think when it comes to limiting distractions, it just comes from within. Uh, we know where our jobs here. We know what we need to do to take care of business. And uh, if we sat around and listening to outside noise, we wouldn't be the grace that we are today. So uh, I think it's just something that we're in, we have within us that we're going to push it aside, and we're just going to keep rolling and being us.